Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. A beast of machine hitting up you with speed. Running absolutely lean. Give me all what I need indeed. Pedal to the metal, the life that I dream. Can't settle for tea. Kettle when I can roll like coffee beans. My chance is split in the seams. Bumping supreme. A rough race leaves enough trees. Let's smoke with steam. Spinning wheels and he deals with high velocity. Break the rules of physics to win. Become an odyssey. Might be second place, but I'm riding behind. Set to draft. Fly by feel the G force. Adjust. Get the better laugh. My tires may be bold, riding a weather track. But I've left my checker pass so I can reach the checker flag. Good evening, folks. Welcome to another edition of the Checkered Flag. We have a lot of great guests tonight. we got some on the line right now we'll get to in just a moment, but I am so excited because we have a very special guest. Bryce Ott came out to hang out with us tonight. Hey, what's going on, man? Not How much. are you? It's good. good for you to come out. Awesome to have you come hang out. Later tonight, we're going to talk NASCAR. They made changes to the top to the qualifying. Now, qualifying today is going to be group qualifying, and they've made that a, re a Talladega. They've made that a reality. We're going to Later tonight, Bryce can weigh in on that, and so can uh, Jeffrey Telsher. We'll be calling in from the Go Live Stream TV network. He's the network um, president. So we're going to talk about that later tonight. Is there advantages and disadvantages to that? We're also going to talk about Kyle Larson. Kyle Larson actually did some fainted, and we're going to talk a little bit about that a little bit later. Kyle is doing much better. He will be at the race this next weekend. Um, so we're going to get to that a little bit later tonight. Also on the show tonight, we've got on the line right now, we've got mini monster truck driver. Uh, we've got, d d calls herself the Demolition Diva. After that, we're going to have a Brandon, uh, Brandon Matthews of Matthews Racing on Skype. But right now, we have Demolition Diva on the line. And I want to introduce you, um, uh, Morgan, Morgan, a.k.a. Demolition Diva. We've got a co-host in the studio right now. We've got Bryce Ott, who races a Outlook Heart. And we're going to le let him uh, take the first couple of questions. Okay. Where did you come up with your name? Well, Team Kit KJ, the drivers of Monster Man, which is Kit KJ, who started the whole monst mini monster trucks, and Sir Jake came up with Demolition Diva. Okay. What made you choose on monster trucks? Wow, that's exciting. Where did you get your where did you get your design from? You have quite a quite a uh, elaborate design on your truck. King KJ designed the truck and then they found me as a driver and they said Demolition Diva. Do you have a favorite trick of uh, that that you do with your truck? My favorite trick is jumping over the cars and getting wheelies. <laughs> um, Bryce has a question for you. Well what, what was your Scariest wreck. There wasn't any scariest wreck. The most exciting one was this summer when I did a complete somersault in the truck going off the car stack. Wow, so you actually find that exciting. <laughs> um, what, what, how fast is that truck? Do you, know, do you know the top speeds of the truck? How fast does the truck go? The truck goes to about 75, but on the track it goes 15 to about 30. Wow. And do you... Um, uh, do you, uh, do you tour? Do you get to tour with Monster Jam? We don't tour with Monster Jam. We've done some of the pit parties with DTI. We mainly run with Monster X Tour. Okay, something else I heard that's very significant. Uh, 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 word has it that you're that you're actually in a video game. Yes, Team Kick KJ <laughs> is in a game called Monster Truck Destruction. Wow, and you get, uh, where can you get that? Can you get that game like in any game shop, or, or where can you get that? Wow, that's exciting! That's exciting. Um, so uh, we'll get to Bryce question more questions for Bryce here in a moment. But I wanted to ask you, um, how was your? You got to go to Vegas, so you got to go to Vegas this past uh, this past weekend. Tell us about that experience and who you got to meet. Did you get to meet any famous uh, famous um, monster truck drivers? Wow. 
Wow, that's exciting. Bryce, you got a question? Um, who's your favorite driver and why? My favorite driver would be Adam Anderson because he's always nice to all the fans and he always goes all out in his truck. Okay. Um, do you prefer indoor car? Karting or outdoor? I mainly prefer outdoor because the tracks are usually bigger and that gives us more room to freestyle and race. Wow. So, so where do you see your career heading in five years from now? I mean, you're just – first off, before you answer that, let me just say how amazing you are. Um, and I, I, we're going to show a little later – we're going to show – when we're done with her interview, by the way, we're going to show some videos that we have. And Shiz Girl is just absolutely amazing. So where do you see your career going in five years? I see my career driving the big monster trucks in about five years. Wow. Wow. Right on. So let's talk about your sponsors, anyone you would like to thank, and, and of course, uh, uh, where, where can we see you? Where are you headed next? You can always check our schedule on kickkj.com, and we have pictures and videos of our latest shows. And we'd like to thank Uncle Todd Motorsports for building – Mini Monster Trucks for Team KKJ and all of our sponsors like Simpson and Board Racing, Hooker Harness. Right. Oh, you know, I almost forgot. I was going to ask you about the monster truck. What? Uh, no, it's it's one. No, is it is it one third scale or one half scale of a size of a big monster truck? These are one half scale, and my truck, the Motion Diva that I drive, has a four cylinder with about. Wow, that's a lot of horsepower. I, I, I mean, you must get. Um, did you do you remember your first time racing one of them? Did you get nervous the first time you got in one or? The first time I drove a uh, mini monster truck, I wasn't that nervous because it's just like driving a car. Hmm. Wow, man, that's so exciting! I, I'm so much looking forward to seeing what you're going to do next. And and uh, again, uh, j l l let the fans know where they can watch you and your website and all that before we let you go. And we got some videos we're going to show, too. So. You can always look us up on YouTube with a quick search, Team Kick KJ, or the truck names. And you could go on our website. It's kickkj.com. And you can look at our videos and our schedules and our photos and everything about us on there. Yeah, actually, um, real quick, your, your team. You have a team? You have a whole team that you're gonna that, that, that you work with, right? Yeah, I, we we had um we had uh, Shane on here uh, a while back. We're looking forward to having him back. But well, what we'd like to do for the next show is have your entire team on. Uh, this was the thing, big thing we want to work out for tonight. But for a later date, we'd like to have your whole team on Skype. Just to talk to your whole team and have your truck in the background. I mean, that would totally be cool. What do you think about that? Yeah, I think that sounds amazing. All right. Well, thank you so much for for calling in. I really appreciate it, and uh, you have a great evening, kiddo. Too, All right. You. All right. Bye. All right. That's pretty cool. That was uh, that was Kid KJ. And we're actually going to show us. So we got some videos we're going to show of her before we get to our next guest here in just a moment. And, of course, a commercial break.
All right, we are back. We've got on the line right now the race is a 250 Outlaw Cart um, from Cam Cartway. We've got Brandon Matthews on the show. Brandon, how are you, man? And, and before we get started in your with, with your uh, interview, tell uh, did you go to the track the short track shootout this past weekend at Cam? Yes, sir, I did. Yeah, how was that experience? What did you place? I placed seventh out of fourteen. It was a it was fun and it was a really good experience. Um, I, I've only been doing I've only been racing two fifty outlaw for about three months, and I placed seventh out of fourteen. I think I did really you good. You know what? That's really good for just for just stepping into one, and that's that's a, a, a top ten. That's awesome. That's totally awesome. Um, so tell us about the short track shoot shootout and what that was all about. Uh, um, well, we got there really early to get ready and everything. We had uh, some trouble with the car. We were trying to get it dialed in, and by the B main, we finally got it, and then we wanted. We want to change the gear again to get it faster, and we finish seventh. Right. We have um. We've got with us right now. We've got um. Bryce is stepping into a 250, and he actually had a question for you. Okay. How much difference is a 250 from a box stock? Like, how much? Like, is it really a big difference or not that much? Uh, it's a it's a big. It's a really big difference. Like, is it? Better steering and more power to steer, more yeah. easier. It's a, it's a, it's more power to steer, and it, it's a lot, it's a lot more powerful too. Okay. Wow, so that's what he has to look forward to, huh? Because he's step, he's actually stepping into it, right? He's stepping into a two fifty this next year. Um, mind to mention, we mentioned it off air. He actually just, just got back from, you know, he's just barely coming back from an injury. And that was my next. I'm gonna give me my, my next question to you. Um, is uh, have you um, do you ever, ever had an injury yet? Have you ever crashed yet? Oh, that was gonna be yours. Uh, I crashed a lot, but I haven't had any injuries. Right, right. Okay. That was. I'm. I'm sorry. That was supposed to be Bryce's question. Oops. Stick to your own notes, okay. Shannon. Okay. Hey, stick to your own notes. How long have you been racing? I've been racing probably about eight years. I started when I was four years old. Wow, that's exciting from a young age. And you started out in beginner box like most? Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah. So um, let's talk about Matthews Racing, your, your your team name. Is there a story behind the, te the story behind that? Well, my name is Brandon Matthews, and we just decided to use my last name as part of our logo. All right. Okay. Uh... Do you run a 500 chill or just the 250? Um, I just raced the 250 outlaw. Okay. Yeah, and then, um, so, number eight was Bryce. Bryce is safe. Oh. Uh, what is the scariest thing that has ever, hap ever happened to you in racing? There's, there's been a lot. Um, there's two times that I've flipped. Uh, one time that I drew, drove pretty much straight through the wall. Another way, another one was when one car flipped right in front of me. I just really didn't know what to do. Oh, oh that gets pretty hairy. <laughs> um, so how uh, what? How many races do you run in, in, in a total year? How many races do you run in a year? Well, at Ken Cartway, we probably race w weekly, and the, and the season, and then. At, uh, at the winter shows, we probably race a few uh, indoor shows. Right. Do you, do you do any other? I know a lot of kids that, that I've had on your race and do others. Do you do other sports also? Yes. I play football and I do mixed martial arts. Wow. Mixed martial arts. M MMA. That's great. And any plans on doing mixed martial arts? Are you in, Any plans on becoming a fighter maybe? Maybe UFC or something uh, like that? Or is it just for protection? Uh, I'm trying to stay in shape, trying to learn some new stuff. Wow, right on. Now, now, that do you find that the mixed martial arts, uh, learning the discipline with that, helps you with with racing and getting behind the wheel of a outlaw car? Yes. Yeah, like getting stronger and stuff like that. Yeah, right. And you know, knowing how to handle you know situations as they come, you know, things like that. Yeah, that's pretty exciting. So, 
So what made you decide you wanted to race, um, you know, and, and outlaw carts, um, you know, out of everything else that they have to race out there? Well, um, I, I had no clue about the outlaw cart. My, uh, my dad took it to our engine builder, said he'd be getting some uh, braking done to it. And, and uh, he said he was out, the, our engine builder was out of town. So, uh, so it was there for about two months, and then one, one day... Um, uh, I went to my grandma's house and there it was, started up in the driveway. Wow. I was just, I didn't even, I didn't even know what to, how to react. <laughs> and you were just hooked every since. <laughs> right on. So, so, um, actually we have a, oh, actually we have a next question to lady from Bryce. Um, it's not really kind of important, but what's your cart number? What? Number no, three. Number three. Okay. Is there any? We want what he's kind of wanting. What he's getting at is: was there any significance behind that number? Because I know a lot of cart have uses num number for a reason. Well, I I use it because it's my uh, it's the year I was born. Right, right on. So when can we? Where can we see you uh, race next? And um, you obviously have a Facebook and stuff that they can go to to check you out. On my Facebook, you can look me up at Matthews Racing, and then you can come and watch me at Cam Cartway. Sweet. Real, Ashley, let's talk about your, uh, I see all those trophies. You've got a lot of trophies back there. Um, we obviously don't have time to, 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 uh, to look at them all. I wish we could. But um, can you maybe take a couple down that are, that are significant to you? Or if you don't have to take them down or not, just tell us the ones that, the ones that stand out mostly to you that stand out in your in your career because you've got a lot of them back there yeah I, um, uh, those two at the top um, oh. the, the trophies I, I won those at uh, in a shootout I was racing two different cars and uh, in two different classes and I was um, I took first place in both wow that's wow. exciting and all those little trophies what are all those little trophies those are all are those like you know Trophy dashes. Those are our first, second, and third. First, second, and third. Trophy dashes. Yeah. Yes, he, he, yeah. Wow, that's exciting. And then you have the, then you have some of the ones that are actually right. Some of the ones that are right behind you. Can you tell us about those. The one, the green one. Yeah, that green one is a is a Santa shootout. I wanted that Santa shootout. I was racing gold plates. Wow. I took second. Wow, Santa. What what is a Santa shootout? Is that like something they they do every winter? Yeah, it's it's now on Christmas time at um, at, at Graham, Graham, Texas. Okay. Yeah, that's where the um, Graham, Texas. That's where uh, Cam Cartway is, is located. So yeah, we're gonna ha we're gonna let you go. But before we let you go, want to do anything anybody you'd like to thank? Uh, let people know about your Facebook. Uh, you know where to find you. Um, how to you know and where you're racing next and all that good stuff. Um, I think we're gonna take off the next few weeks to. Right, right on, man. Well, thank you so much for being on the show. I appreciate it, and I look forward to getting out there and meeting you in person. All of you that I've had on the show so far, but uh, thank you so much, and um, we're gonna let you go, and we're gonna be right back in just a little bit as soon as we have our hang up here as soon as we have our commercial break we're going to be right back and we're going to actually recap the west coast nationals we finally got the west coast nationals to recap we're going to do that right after our commercial break in just a moment don't go anywhere that's a mouthful sss multimedia is sending you smoke signals providing their clients with the ultimate communication and multimedia marketing, distribution, production, and web-based services. They feature high-def video equipment and quality audio sound. SSS is your multimedia source from graphics for business cards to television production, radio, live sound, and everything in between. SSS is sending you smoke signals. Get your message out with SSS Multimedia. For more information, call 707-701-6416 or email info at sssmultimedia.com.
Dixon Speedway and Vintage Fresh LLC proudly presents the inaugural for the love of racing, James Pops Wooten Memorial Race. A whopping $1,000 to win for both multi-wingless and main. All going down April 4th, 2015 at Dixon Speedway. For more information, go to www.dixonspeedway.net. Catch the checkered flag show every Tuesday night at 7, 9 central on the golivestream.tv network. Hosted by myself, Ace Naylor. See our website at checkeredflagshow.com. The tax man's taken all my dough and left me in my stately home. Blazing sunny afternoon and I can't sail my yacht he's taken everything I got all I've got this sunny afternoon Manticorp Tax and Accounting can help you minimize taxation establish a corporate presence and save you money our over 25 years of experience in domestic and international taxation and incorporation services makes us the best at what we do. Your first consultation at Manticorp is always free, and our discounted rates guarantee you will not end up paying for what you don't get. Try Manticorp today. For more information, call 707-701-6416 or email info at manticorpusa.com. All right, folks, we are back. Going to go with the recap, with the starting with the West Coast Nationals. Now, this past weekend, yeah, this past West Coast Nationals was a couple weeks ago. We just now got them, so we're going to do that right now. Um, we're starting with the beginner box, and we're going to start with the qualifying beginner box. Rylan Renaud qualified at a 10.389 with a total of 100 points. Chance Grassi qualified in second with a total of 99 points. In third, Alan Pizora at a 10.557. Carson Hamas, I'm going to go with the, with the top 10 since we have time. Tyler Reich came in at number 5. Number 6, Jace Lafferty in the 77X, that total of 90, excuse me, 96 points. 95 for Jace Lafferty, not far behind. A 10.712 to the 10.696 for the best time around the track. They were really close. Clinton and Drago, number 8, 199 at 10.913. 10.973 for McKenna Gannon. The top 10 there. That'll bring uh, Kathy, excuse me, Connor Mewriter, Mewriter, I think. Hopefully I said that right. Did I say it right? Uh, I think so. Mo Ryder, yeah. <laughs> 10.975. I'll know if I did. So, beginner box, fast dash results. The number 16, Ryland Renaud. This number number two was Chance Grassy. What a what a great weekend Chance Grassy had. We'll he, we'll talk about him in just a little bit. Chance Grassy came in at the number two. Tyler Fox, 88T. Carson Thomas, number four. Number five, Jace Lafferty. McKenna Gannon came in at 0, 0, 04, 49, Tyler Reich. The number eight and eight was Connor Mewrider, Clinton and Drago, and Angelo Segura at 11.182 to Clinton and Drago's 11.032. So there was the there were some close ones there. And going to heat number one, Ryland Renaud won the won that heat. Trevor Grimes, Grace Vazo took number three. And Connor, I was going to say Connor, so I don't know the last name. Connor took uh, number four in the number 46 at 10.802. Angelo Segura at a 10.907. Carson Thomas at 11.100. 11.710. Talon McCain. Well, these were, these were some pretty close ones. Yeah. Uh, for the times. Heat number two, Tyler Fox. While Chance Grassy was not far behind in each race, Chance Grassy. Of 10.531 to the 10.283, Tyler Fox, 100 points. Rounding out the points was a number, uh, for number two is number 99 points. 
Tyler Rich at number 98, 97 points, coming in fourth. Lydia Truck, Clinton Andrago at a 10.606, Aaron Slighton at 11.188, Jaden Truff at 11.205, rounding out the points at a total of 94 points. Ooh. Yeah, Chase Lafferty, 100, the points are pretty good now, 100 points, um, Alan Pizzora, number two at 99 points, came in at number two for the Heat, Clinton McNary, one, um, came in at number three. Micah George, number four of the top five, would be McKenna Gannon and Alyssa Foster. That, there were six cars that showed up for the heats. McKenna Gannon came back and won her second heat. Alan Pizzora in spot number two. Garen McNary, number three, number four. Chase Jace Lafferty. McKenna George, and then the 5M and the 21, Alyssa Foster. B Main, Clinton Andrago. Wow. Came back and won the B Main. Linda. At a 10.503, Linda Trupp at a 10.719, not too far behind in the best time. Jaden Trupp came in the number four. Connor came in at number the number five and the number 46. Tyler Retch at number 49 came in at number six. 5M at McKenna George. It's a mouthful. <laughs> 87, Talon McCain at number nine. Grace Bazo. Aaron Singleton brought up the top ten. A main. This is what I was excited about. Excited about here. A main. Chance Grassy. <laughs> he was right up there. It was bound to happen. Chance Grassy took the A main at a ten point two nine seven to the ten point five zero zero. Raylan Renaud. So Grassy was up there. He was Ooh. above the pack, huh? Yeah. yeah. Clinton Andrago at a ten point four seven three. McKenna Gannon at an eleven point ten point three one one. Coming in at the fourth place for the A A main. Alan Pizzora at number six. Lydia Trupp, number seven, number eight, Carson Hamas, and Tyler Fox, number nine, Trevor Grimes, bringing up the top ten for the A-Main. Those were some close. Oh, yeah, there's some close calls, huh? You're, you're, probably used to having, you're probably used to having some of those in your time, some close calls in the points. Raymond Valdez at 9.610 at 100 points. This, this is, the, is the qualifying, Preston Carr qualified at number two. Uh, this is box stock, rather. Caden Butler qualified at number three, the 22K. He's a pretty good racer. Caden Butler. Um, Mason Smith, number four. Daniel Whitley. There's a name you know. <laughs> right out the top five. Brody Petrie, the number six. Colby Fox, and the 18, uh, number eight. Carson Perkins, the Carter Abel, and Carson Souza bringing up the top ten for the best time. And by the way, that was from... That was, from 91 points all the way to the top, which being 100 points. Wow. So they're getting, they're getting a lot of points handed out. Slow dash. Carter a Abel is the one that slow dash. Number two, Colby Thornhill. Preston Carr. Number three, Brody Armtrout oh. came in at fourth. Carly Holmes in 22, 22C and came in at fifth. Number six, Austin, Austin Sauce. Yeah, that's what, okay. 10.138. Colby Fox. Maximus Mitchery came in at number eight. Jack Phillips number nine. And number ten is Savannah Heath. Going with the Fox Stock Fast Dash results, Carson Perkins took the win. Caden Butler not Ooh. too far behind. Ten point zero zero eight to the nine point nine one six. Close call between those two. Daniel Whitley not far behind at his nine point nine three five in the fifty seven. Tanner Pettit, number four, 10.150. There's another good, big name there. Ooh. Evan Barola, 10.124. Raymond Valdez, 10.118. Close times. Number seven, Mason Smith. Wade Whitman Jr. at number eight at a 10.028. Trace Adams, Brody Petrie rounding out the top ten for the, the dash. Going to go, because there's a time here, we're going to go with, um, going to go with our main events getting down to the box stock main we do our time here box stock a main carson souza won a main preston mm. Carr number two and nine seven zero one with nine seven two two close races 24p tanner pettit brody mm. petrie raymond valdez the top we're gonna go with the top five because of our time here okay box stock a main got to that you didn't qualify. No, we're going to go to intermediate. Oh, okay. We're going to go to mains because we're, you know, we've got uh, Jeffrey calling in at a quarter till, so. Okay. we got about five minutes left before Jeffrey calls in, and we have to take a commercial break, so 
Oh. Yep. Okay. Intermediate would be intermediate. There was there was actually three or four heats. For intermediate. There was a lot of cars that showed up. A main intermediate. Tanner Carrick. Bennett Gooch. Jet Hayes came in at number three. Jet Hayes is actually from te Texas. He's the one from the Texas. Oh. Yeah. So we, we had Jet Hayes on the show last. So third in the A main for never being at that track. Jet Hayes. Congratulations. Nine point three four three. Tanner Carrick took the win on that one, 9.126. Brendan McMaster at, at, at the top five. Mariah Kofrash is four, number four there in the 57. Open class. Going to go with the open class. Main events. I heard you go. I heard you go. <laughs> <laughs> Is this something? Whoa, that there's an E main. There was A, B, and C main. There was so Ooh. I mean they had a huge pack of cars that showed up. Logan Seavey took the win. Colby Copeland at number two. Mike Wheeler at number three. Number four, Brian McGann. And Tyler Seavey uh, brought up the tight five the top five. Sportsman class. Now you're now do you race no you you know about the, what you race uh you're going into a two fifty, so yeah. right, yeah. Sportsman A main. Bo Perkins took the win. Sean Fogarty took the number two. Mike Moore, number three, number four. Travis Lynch. And then at the top five would be Eric Gannon. And wow. that completes the. And that completes the Red Bluff Outlaw West Coast Nationals. And we're going to take a break and we're going to be right back with Je in just a few minutes with Jeffrey Telsher. We're going to do talk about NASCAR junkie and our NASCAR topics. So we'll be back in just a moment. SSS Multimedia is sending you smoke signals, providing their clients with the ultimate communication and multimedia marketing, distribution, production, and web-based services. They feature high-def video equipment and quality audio sound. SSS is your multimedia source, from graphics for business cards to television production, radio, live sound, and everything in between. SSS is sending you smoke signals. Get your message out with SSS Multimedia. For more information, call 707-701-6416 or email info at sssmultimedia.com. Disken Speedway and Vinish Fresh LLC proudly presents... The inaugural, for the love of racing, James Pops Wooten Memorial Race. A whopping $1,000 to win for both multi-wingless and main. All going down April 4th, 2015 at Dixon Speedway. For more information, go to www.dixonspeedway.net. Catch the Checkered Flag Show every Tuesday night at 7, 9 central on the golivestream.tv network. Hosted by myself, Ace Naylor. Taxman's taken all my dough and left me in my stately home, blazing on a sunny afternoon. And I can't sail my yacht, he's taken everything I got, all I've got this sunny afternoon. Manticorp Tax and Accounting can help you minimize taxation establish a corporate presence and save you money our over 25 years of experience in domestic and international taxation and incorporation services makes us the best at what we do your first consultation at manticorp is always free and our discounted rates guarantee you will not end up paying for what you don't get try manticorp today for more information call 707-701-6416 or email info at manticorpusa.com. All 
All right, we're back. We've got several things to talk about with NASCAR Junkie, quite a, several topics. So we're going on the topics with us right now, president of the GoLivestream.tv network, Jeffrey Telsher on the line. How are you? Hey, pretty good, Shannon. Been a, been a busy week. Uh, it has. You're getting ready. You're getting getting ready for some pretty exciting things that we we've, we've been plugging on the show here for the past couple of weeks. We'll get to that in just a moment. I want to get to the NASCAR Junkie right now because quite a few things are happening in NASCAR. Um, first off, I want to give our our uh, heartfelt uh, uh, prayers and so for a quick recovery for Kyle Larson. I know. I think. In fact, he's got uh, actually he's going to be racing this next. This next week, uh, I guess he got a little dehydrated and fainted during the uh, during the autograph signing. Yeah, yeah, I heard that too. Was wondering if he has diabetes or something. Uh, I don't know. That might, might be something to check into. But I, like I said, he probably just wasn't drinking enough water. He will be racing at this next race, which is pretty cool. Um, uh, obviously, we're here. Obviously, I'm saying we talking about the wins. Denny Hamlin taking the win this last one. Um, ending the uh, streak, ending the uh, the, the uh, Kevin Harvick uh, racing st- uh, streak win, and that brings me to my next topic. That um, we were talking, uh, Jeff Hammond actually has had put some things out there. He's claiming that from being a crew chief, that NASCAR is fixed and they have it fixed on who they want to be the winner. What's your thought on that? Uh, I think that NASCAR can can uh, definitely help determine who the winner is but they're not going to be able to call the winner no i don't think there's just too many variables involved they can make the race more interesting though no doubt and they can they can they can make it make it in favor of some driver for sure but i i i don't think that they can Race. No, no, I don't think so either. I, uh, you know, Denny Hamlin was just, you know, talking about, oh, you know, he was a crew chief, and so that's how his many years in a crew chief. That's how, how, how he knows. I, I, I don't believe that either because there's too many rules. Like you said, there's way too many rules uh, on on a win, and um, you know, there's the, there's infractions. Too many cars, and, too. There are too many cars in the yeah, race. Yes, for yes, them to yeah. fix it. Yeah, way too many cars for it to be for it, for it to be fixed. Um, we've got our our. Uh, um, my trusty sidekick here, uh, Bryce Ott. What's your thought on that, Bryce? Uh, I don't think they can because it will be kind of messed up for all the for for 42 drivers. Just if they're not like if the people are just gonna fix it, it's not gonna be fair that they're gonna come out with favorites and then there's gonna be a lot more commotion into the racing. Yeah. And then the forty, and then, then then the forty-two other. If it was fixed, uh, you know, the, like you're right, you hit the nail on the head. The other forty-two, the forty or ever forty-one, the forty-two uh, racers aren't going to want to race if they know it's fixed anyway. Yeah. So they're not going to want to race anyway. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we got Bryce Ott in the studio right now. He um he's uh our sidekick for tonight. We're keeping him close to racing. He's actually um had an injury. We'll talk to him a little bit about that later. He's been out for a while. Um, he was a guest on my show here a while back. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah. So off that and, and, and back on to some other uh, other things, let's talk about the NASCAR junk in our, in our NASCAR junkie segment, the way they're qualifying. So they went ahead and implemented the qualifying for more than one car at a time. What's your thoughts on um, on that? And then after you, I'll get Bryce's thoughts. Yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't like it. I'd rather have them go at one at a time. It, it's... Uh, Chances of wrecking the cars and stuff is really high, and that just costs a lot of money. It comes right down to it. I think it will hurt the sport. Well, yeah, of course, and 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 also puts the new drivers at a terrible, terrible disadvantage. You know, the rookie drivers at a terrible disadvantage when they want to get up there to qualify. Um, so, what's your um, Bryce? So we're gonna ask you your thoughts on that, Bryce. I agree <laughs> with you guys that it's gonna. Put the bad the rookie drivers into a bad spot because they're gonna if they're qualifying by their stuff they're gonna have to it's gonna be better for them so they can find a better spot to drive in the race. Yeah. But if they're driving with a group, it's not it's gonna be hard because they're gonna have to find a spot while people are just trying to get up there too, trying to qualify while they're there. Yeah, exactly. That that's a very intelligent very intelligent uh, answer and a way to look at it. Um. Yeah. So back to you, Jeff. Yeah, I, 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 I feel the same way. Yeah. It's just not a right the the right deal. I 
I'd, I'd rather rather have the cars qualify individually. So yeah, I mean it, it's 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 so much better that way. Um, so uh, off that and on to some on to some things that are happening. Uh, uh, racing for wishes is what three weeks away now. Yeah, we've got uh, two, actually two racing for wishes. We got the one on April twenty fourth at, at Shenandoah Speedway, and then we got one May second at Bakersfield Speedway a week later. Okay, and uh, I, I caught. I was so excited. I caught Mini. Uh, what's his name? Um, Mini. Uh, Bell. Yeah, I caught him. I, I caught him on the talk show on the talk show that you posted. That was pretty cool. Oh yeah, he's a, a, he, he's a great little. Little guy. For he's ten years old, and no, 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 get this, Bryce. Still a race car, and he can talk. He's ten years old. And he's the, he's the youngest youngest um uh late model race car driver. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I would love to get him on my show if that's if, if that's possible. Yeah, we got we have Philip Morris too racing in the race. He's four time NASCAR yes. late model national champion. So we we picked up an ace there too. Yeah, I'm excited, but yeah, I'd, I'd like to get Minnie on the show if you can make that happen. That would be that would be really awesome. Like maybe maybe a week before the a week before the April 24th, Racing for Wishes opens up. Yeah, and I, I can I'll work on that. Yeah, I'll work on that. Yeah, I I, I appreciate that. So let's do that now. Let, let's talk about April, what that's all about. April 24th and and R- Racing for Wishes. Now there's a total of six thousand dollars going out to the top racer. Yeah. the – Winner of the race gets six thousand dollars. We're gonna pay a thousand to win for the B main. The total purse is now fifteen thousand dollars, including wow. the B main. I'm in the wrong profession. I think I need to be racing, right? <laughs> Bryce is like, yeah, I want to get in this one too. Get in on this one too. I don't know if the payouts are payouts are, 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 are as half as good for the outlaw carts. Although there are going to be there are going to be some big payouts this year for some of the outlaw carts. Oh. Yeah, I That's think so. But we'll talk That's to you. Cool. We'll we'll talk to um, Bryce a little later about all that and everything. So back on that. So the twenty fourth, six thousand, uh, fifteen thousand now, uh, racing for wishes. Now they can go to your go to your website to check that out or your um yeah right ra- yeah racingforwishes dot com yeah racingforwishes dot com. Thank you so much for being on the show. We've got about ten minutes left. I got to make some announcements. Jeff, it's always good to hear from you and and your uh, opinion opinions on NASCAR and whatnot. Thank you, Shannon. Uh, look forward to talking to you soon. Yes. All right. Thank you so much. All right. Bye. All right. That's always awesome to have Jeffrey Telsher. We're going to take one more commercial break because – and, and well, before we do that, let's get to our, our new sponsor. I'm so excited to have our new sponsor on board. Hillsburg Collision Center, located at 20 Hillsburg Avenue. That's 20 Hillsburg Avenue. For, call 707-431-2993, 707-431-2993. Again, big thanks to our new sponsor, Hillsburg Collusion Center. We are working on a full commercial for them. We'll have that out soon. Hillsburg Collusion Center, located at 20 Hillsburg Avenue, 707-431-2993 for all your, for all your collision needs. Don't get stuck on the side of the road. Don't, get a, don't feel like you're abandoned because Hillsburg Collusion Center can fix all that for you. So we're going to take a commercial break, and we're going to be right back in just a few moments to talk to Bryce and, of course, make some announcements before we close out the show. i got some exciting things to talk about. SSS Multimedia is sending you smoke signals, providing their clients with the ultimate communication and multimedia marketing, distribution, production, and web-based services. They feature high-def video equipment and quality audio sound. SSS is your multimedia source, from graphics for business cards to television production, radio, live sound, and everything in between. SSS is sending you smoke signals. Get your message out with SSS Multimedia. For more information, call 707-701-6416 or email info at sssmultimedia.com. Dixon Speedway and Beanie Fresh LLC proudly presents... The inaugural, for the love of racing, James Pops Wooten Memorial Race. 
a whopping $1,000 to win for both multi-wingless and main, all going down April 4th, 2015 at Dixon Speedway. For more information, go to www.dixonspeedway.net. Catch the Checkered Flag Show every Tuesday night at 7, 9 central on the golivestream.tv network. Hosted by myself, Ace Naylor. See our website at checkerflagshow.com. The tax man's taken all my dough and left me in my stately home, blazing on the sunny afternoon and I can't sail my yacht he's taken everything I got all I've got this sunny afternoon Manticorp Tax and Accounting can help you minimize taxation establish a corporate presence and save you money our over 25 years of experience in domestic and international taxation and incorporation services makes us the best at what we do. Your first consultation at Manticorp is always free, and our discounted rates guarantee you will not end up paying for what you don't get. Try Manticorp today. For more information, call 707-701-6416 or email info at manticorpusa. All right, folks, man, what an awesome show we've had so far. I am so excited. I'm so excited to have, have you, Bryce, on the show. Um, we kind of did this a little while ago. We interviewed you, but uh, for those of you, for those who haven't, haven't met you, tell us a little bit about your racing. And you actually, you've been out for a while because you got injured. Talk, talk yeah. to us about some of that. Well... How I really got injured in August, um, and it's been a long process through because I have nerve damage. I used to have nerve damage, but now I'm really, really healthy now. And now we're just trying to get me strength, and so we're, I can get back in the go in the go karts. And it's really just fun thing to do, and I miss it so much. And it's just something that I love doing. Was it tough going to a couple of the races and just not being able to get out there and race? Yeah. Must have been, huh? We're excited to have you here, though. This, we're gonna, um, I would maybe like to have you back on on the for your birthday on the 21st. Okay. So that would be really exciting to have you, but just wanted to um, talk to you for a little bit. Uh, we've got some announcements announcements to make. Um, go to our, Obviously, go to our website to see anything that we have updated on it, www.checkeredflagshow.com. Also going down this weekend, if you have nothing to do this weekend, this Saturday, go to the James Pops Wooten Memorial happening at Dixon Speedway. Go to www.dixonspeedway.net for more information on that. A whopping $1,000 to win for the top for that one. That's pretty cool. The James Pops Wooten Memorial happening. What a great way to open the season at Dixon than, than going to that. Yeah. Um, and, of course, uh, racing for – we heard Jeff called in a little bit ago about that. Racing for Wishes. Racing for Wishes happening April 21st at uh, that the Speedway there. Go check that out, racingforwishes.com, also on May 2nd. Another exciting thing I get to announce, we don't have an actual date yet, but we're talking to him, and we're going to have him on the show. He said definitely this month of April, so stay tuned to check out for that. We're going to be having Rico Abreu back on. And by the way, big hats off to Rico Abreu for winning the World of Outlaws this past weekend. Yeah. He proved that he, he proved after uh, after – he proved he can race just about anything. He's one of those that can race just about anything. I mean, going yeah. from the, going from the into the late models, you know, he's you know because he's got the late models, Canon and Pro Series, you know, comes back to that world of outlaws and takes a win. So, yeah, um, we're gonna have him on the show, which I'm pretty excited about. Well, we're gonna close the show. We're gonna show, uh, we're gonna show those uh, the videos, those last two videos of the monster trucks. I want to thank everybody for being on the show. I want to thank Bryce for being on. Thank you, man. Man, thank you were you. good. I appreciate having you, and we're gonna show we're gonna show those and the commercial break. And uh, again, stay tuned. Next, same time, same place, every single Tuesday night, seven nine central on the Go Live Stream Network.
Kitston Speedway and Venus Fresh LLC proudly presents the inaugural for the love of racing, James Pops Wooten Memorial Race. A whopping $1,000 to win for both multi-wingless and main. All going down April 4th, 2015 at Dixon Speedway. For more information, go to www.dixonspeedway.net. Dixon Speedway and Venus Fresh LLC proudly presents the inaugural for the love of racing, James Pops Wooten Memorial Race. A whopping $1,000 to win for both multi-wingless and main. All going down April 4th, 2015 at Dixon Speedway. For more information, go to www.dixonspeedway.net. <laughs> 